Hey guys, Mr. Knife Fanatic here. Today I got a nice, beautiful knife for you today. This is the Shun Pro Series. Uh, this is the six and a half inch Deba. Uh, Deba is a traditional Japanese knife. As you can see, it's got the single bevel on it. And uh, this is primarily used for breaking down fish. Uh, today I'm gonna break down a chicken and try to do a little bit of a tutorial for you and show you how the knife performs and how I personally break my chickens down. Uh, everyone has a different technique. I'll show you how I do it. And uh, so let's go over a few specs of the knife. First of all, uh, this Deba, Deba is a, is a very heavy knife, very thick knife. You can even use this for doing uh, some butchering work actually. And uh, the spine is 4.5 to 4.6 millimeters thick. That is quite thick actually. I'll, uh, let's compare this to, this is a Tojiro uh, Aigami 180 Deba. And I'll just show you the spine thickness. This is four and a half millimeters and here comes this one. It, I didn't actually measure it, but it looks around six millimeters. You can definitely, you know, these are heavy hitting knives here. Big, big chunk of steel. Uh, speaking of steel, this is solid VG10. Uh, whereas most Shun knives are clad VG10, either uh, clad with Damascus or uh, different finishes like the Premier series. Uh, so, solid VG10 through and through. It's hardened to 60 or 61 Rockwell, just like the rest of their knives. Um, the height of this knife is 48 millimeters at the heel. We can show you this with a uh, little ruler real quick. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm covering it up. Not very good at this. It is 48 millimeters at the heel. Uh, the edge is 170 millimeters or six and a half inches. And uh, the weight, let's go ahead and break our scale out for you. Show you how much she weighs. Okay, we're zeroed out, zero grams. Two, 200 and, well, I was getting 87. 285 grams, there you go. Definitely a lot, uh, not a light knife, but it doesn't need to be a light knife. We're not doing vegetable prep, we're going through meat with this, okay? Here comes the balance point. We balance the ball right there on the joil point, as you can see. Uh, these handles are D-shaped handles, so it is tapered to a right-hand user. Uh, this is Paca wood. It's they say it's resin impregnated, so basically it's it's stabilized. You don't have to worry about uh, anything getting on this or getting into this. It's you know very well stabilized. And here comes a cat meowing right now. Uh, you can still see some of the wood grain in here. Very nice. And um, I know you're looking at the finish. They call this a graffiti finish. This really is more beautiful in person than it is um, on the video here. It's very, very beautiful knife. Good conversation piece. Gets nice and sharp. The VG10 steel does take the fairly refined edge. And, um, you know, hey, there you go. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a cutting with it, first of all. Uh, just a, a note about sharpening. There is a micro bevel here. Uh, this is 1000 grit. I did this myself. It does come with a factory micro bevel on this side. The only difference between a traditional Deba and the Shun Pro Deba is that they add a micro bevel to the backside, whereas on a traditional Deba you'd like to follow and uh, actually you just lay it completely flat on the stone and um, you know they concave the back of this and that becomes your sharpening guide. Whereas uh, I'll show you my traditional one here. You can see the sharpening line here and on the edge. You can see both lines are lit up there all the way back. So there's no guessing there. Uh, you definitely micro bevel the front though for extra strength. Most people do that. Anyhow, here we go. Let's break down a chicken. Uh, start off. I will start with the thigh and the leg here. I like to cut right between this joint right here. Just uh, give it a little slice and kind of open things up. And now that you're in between the thigh meat, you just need to separate the thigh. So go ahead and place your knife down on the chicken, blade facing away from your hand. You won't uh, want to be a little safe about that. And just pop that, uh, pop that leg joint out. Once the leg is out, you can follow that uh, line right there. And you have the thigh and the leg off. Look how easy that was, right? Next, 
a wing. Uh, I like to grab right behind this first elbow and kind of lift up a little bit and use my pointer finger to kind of press in there and you're gonna you're gonna feel about where the joint is. Go ahead and you know use your own judgment. Uh, I trust you, you know. And boom, we're right off. We got a little knuckle meat right there. I love that. I love this little piece when you fry these up. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, something very good about a Deva now, when you have the single bevel, it actually helps you follow the line when you're going against bone. Uh, let's say you're breaking down a tuna, you can really, you know, get along the bone and get all the meat off there. And I kind of like using that for chicken here. It really follows the line well. So, let's show you. Cut into there once. We're actually in into the bone. We cut underneath the tenderloin and everything. Just easy strokes. As you can see, we're going right along the bone with no problem. The knife was designed to do that. Very well designed. And it functions as advertised. Oh, see we even went through a little bit of cartilage. We can clean that up later, but uh, you can see how cleanly it followed along here. No need to take the wishbone out. Um, you may have missed just a little bit. I'm going to use my carcass for stock later. Love homemade chicken stock. So. Let's just repeat the same thing on the other side. Remember, we start with the leg first. Let's we'll separate this. Knife facing away from your hand. And pop your joint out. Follow that. Right underneath. And you have this. Done. Grab behind the elbow there. Find where your joint's at. And uh, we're through. Now, if you'd notice here, I did take a little bit more skin uh, from the breast area, when you, for presentation purposes, you would like to maybe cut a little bit closer toward the thigh here. You like to leave more skin. This is going to shrink up on you. So if you're doing maybe an airline breast where you you know leave this on, um, you know you want to go ahead and leave a little bit more skin on that than I did. But honestly, I'm probably not going to leave the skin. I'm going to use this meat later, so uh, in another dish. So here we go. Let's follow the line. Again, we use the bevel to guide the knife along the bone. It will find its way for you. Oh. As you can see, there we go. And uh, just for a little added bonus, we have a nice clean carcass. We'll get this out. A little added bonus, I'll show you how to take the drumstick off uh, the thigh real quick. I have no place to put my carcass, so we'll just... Uh, <laughs> Stick it on top of the chicken for now, it's okay. It's all getting cooked, right? Uh, what you want to look for is in between the thigh and uh, your drumstick, there's going to be a little bit of a line here. you just like to go ahead and try to follow that if you can. So, cut into it and uh, comes right off. There you go. No effort at all. Use this bevel to your advantage. Uh, that was the purpose of the design. Let's see, where's our other thigh at? We got one more to do. There we go. You can see your line right there. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna cut down towards that line from here. And there we go. We're through, no problem at all. Now look, there's a little bit of ice. This chicken was actually a little bit frozen. Uh, as you can see, adding the micro bevel to the VG10, the fine grain of the steel, allows it to have a very tough edge. This knife is still very sharp. Uh, just to show you, I will do a paper towel test on this. This was a 1,000 grit edge before we started. Yeah, the single ply paper towel. Let's go ahead and just wipe this off. A wet knife doesn't cut nearly as nice. Uh, you know, if you get the get the paper towel wet, it's not going to cut so clean. So, here we go. As you can see, after we broke down a chicken, it's still cutting very cleanly through this single ply paper towel. Uh, the knife still looks plenty beautiful. There is no staining whatsoever. VG10 has very good stain resistance, very nice stainless. Um, we actually went through a little bit of cartilage there. I'm not going to go ahead and show you now, but no chipping problems whatsoever. You can break down a chicken just fine. I don't care what the purists say. <laughs> But next time I get a fish, I'll go ahead and break down a fish with this knife for you also. We'll make another video. Oh, guys, um, 
Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please free, uh, feel free to email me or just leave a comment on the video. So there you go, the Shun Pro Deba, six and a half inch. One nice, beautiful little night, though. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.